Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a realistic gold leaf texture as well as how to create gold text using GIMP. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.18 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. But of course, before I get into that, I want to direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of free software tutorials on here, as well as my GIMP book of layers and free software help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 masterclass from beginner to pro photo editing on Udemy. You can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting gimpschool.com and you can get more with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. Here is a font I'm going to be using towards the end of this tutorial. This is from Google Fonts. You can just click Download Family. I do have an entire tutorial dedicated to how to download and install third-party fonts to GIMP, so I'll link that to this video. I'll also be using this free photo from Pixabay of some black leather. So you can just click the free download button here. I went with 1920 by 1276. Lastly, I do want to mention that you're going to need the gimmick plugin for this. So come over here to download when you're at gimmick.eu. Scroll down and for Windows, I recommend the installer. They also have a Linux version and then the Mac version. They don't have an official Mac build anymore, but they do have somebody who has compiled a Mac build. And it says here to download and install that at your own risk. All right, so this is the texture we're going to be creating. This is a free gold foil or gold leaf texture. And if I come over here, this is what this looks like in text form. So let me click off of that text layer. So this is just with a regular gradient background. And then here is what this looks like with a textured background. So there's that black leather. So it looks very realistic in the end. So I'll start this tutorial off by showing you guys how to create that gold leaf texture. And we'll start by going to File, New. And you can create whatever composition size you like. I went with 1500, hit the tab key by 1500. And it's not really gonna matter what background color you have set up, so I'll click okay. Next, we need to add some sort of varying texture and light source. That's gonna make it look like some gold foil that has like crinkles in it, and therefore the light's bouncing off of it in different ways. So to create that look, we're gonna generate some clouds, and I'll do that by going to filters, render, noise, solid noise, so here you can see we have some clouds generated. You can decrease the size of the texture basically. So it's just making this wider and wider is essentially what that's doing. If we increase this, it's adding more and more texture, which is adding more and more black. I like going with the round four, which is the default. I think that looks fine. So I'm just gonna hit reset actually. And then you can add or remove detail. So if I increase this, you'll see it kind of comes in focus more and looks more like realistic clouds. If you decrease it, it's going to be a bit more blurry. So I went with around one. Once again, that was the default. If you want to use this as a pattern later, you can click tileable and that will make sure that it can tile across your page pretty smoothly. I'm going to uncheck that. Random seed, to my knowledge, is going to determine what's generated here. So we can click on this to just see different forms of these clouds being generated here. And you can pretty much stop whenever you see something you like. So if it's a good amount of black and white, you can stop on that seed. In this case, I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna go with two and I'll click okay. So now we have our texture. This varying white and black is going to make this look like it's that very light foil material or that gold leaf material. And the next part is going to require that gimmick plugin that I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial. So what I'll do is go to filters, gimmick QT. And for this, we're going to use an effect called textured glass. It's already selected since I used this earlier. You could just type textured up top here and textured glass will show up. So as you can see, it's basically putting in these tiny wrinkles throughout the composition. You can come over here and play with the settings. The only settings I really messed with were the X and Y amplitude. I turned each of those up slightly. The X I turned up more than the Y. I also turned up the edge influence and I turned up the noise scale. So you guys can copy my values there if you want to go with the same values or you can play around with these to get the settings you want. As for outputting this, you can either output the effect directly onto your background layer or the foil layer, or if you want to play it safe, you can always output this to a new layer. So that's what I have selected right now. So in place, we'll output this to that same background layer. New layer, we'll put this on its own new layer and I'll click okay. 
So if I hide this, there's a before, there's an after. So you can see it's starting to look like that gold foil. So let me come up top here and I'll rename this foil texture. Hit the enter key. Next, we need to change the color of this because obviously it's more of a silver color. So I'll come over here and create a new layer. And let's rename this gold. And I'll come down here and change the fill width to foreground color. And then I'm going to change my foreground color to a gold color. So I went with this color. You could copy my HTML notation, FFE169. And I'll click OK. And I'll click OK again. So there we have our gold color. Of course, it's covering up the foil texture layer. So let's add a layer mode to this. So I'll go to mode and I'm going to scroll all the way down towards the bottom here until we get to LCH color. So this gold has kind of a green tint to it. It's not exactly the way I want it. So I can change this color by going to colors, hue saturation, and you guys can play around with this until you get the gold that you like. What I did was I shifted the hue to the left slightly. I turned the lightness up and then I also adjusted the saturation. And this won't be the exact final color. We're going to tweak it a bit more in a bit, but that looks fine for now. So I'll click OK. Next, we're going to calm down some of these darker portions. To me, they're a bit too dark. You guys can leave them if you want, but I'm going to come over here, create a new layer and we'll name this gray. And we'll keep it filled with the foreground color. Let's change the foreground color though. I went with a middle gray color. So I just typed 128 for the R, G and B values. Make sure you're on this tab that goes to zero to 255. That'll give you middle gray and I'll click okay. And we'll click okay to create this layer. Let's move the gray layer below the gold layer and then come up top to mode and change this to screen. So that's going to screen out a lot of those dark colors, the black colors there. So here's a before and here is with this turned all the way up to 100. You can adjust the opacity here and you can see that's going to lighten this up more and more. Next, what I'll do is come over to the foil texture layer and I'm going to add a bit of contrast to this using the levels tool. So I'll go to colors, levels, and here we can play around with the settings. So we can bring up some of those dark spots that we tone down with the gray layer. And we can also adjust the midtones and the highlights here. So that's just adding a bit more contrast. All right, so in this case, it's pretty subtle, but I like that, so I'll click OK. And lastly, we can tweak the color one last time if the changes we made below have altered the color beyond what you want it to be. So now I'll come back to colors, hue saturation, and again, we can shift the hue around. These are going to be very minor adjustments here. And I'll click OK. So if I hold control and zoom in to look at this up close, even up close, it looks very realistic. So now we have our cool foil effect or the gold leaf effect. Now we can move on to the gold lettering. So we're going to take this gold leaf and we're going to place it inside of some lettering. And I'll start by creating a new composition. So I'll go to file new and let's go with 1920 by 1080 and I'll click OK. So hold control and zoom out slightly. And I want to bring in that black leather photo so I can go to file, open as layers if I haven't opened this in the past and find the file on my computer. Or in my case, I'll go to open recent and choose black leather. If you do the open as layers option, this will automatically open into the composition that you're working on. But for me, I'll just click and drag this tab over and then hover my mouse over the composition and release. So let's rename this black leather, hit the enter key. So now I'll create my text. I'll grab my text tool and I'm going to click on the composition and now I'll just type GIMP. So capital G and then lowercase for the rest of the letters. I'll hit control A to select everything. And I'm going to make this text much larger. So I'll go with 500 for the text size there. And let's actually change the color of the text to white. So it's easier to see. And I'll hold the alt key just to temporarily move this up a bit. Next, I want to change the actual font. So I went with that font that I showed you guys in the beginning. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but there it is. And once I have the font and the size and everything I want, I'm going to come over here and click and hold and grab the align tool, which is going to be the Q shortcut key, click on my text. And now I'm going to align relative to image. So I'll go center both vertically and horizontally. 
So we have our text in place. Now it's time to add that foil texture or that leaf texture. So I'll come over here to my composition, click and drag this tab over into my text composition and release. Now what I'll do is come over to my layers panel and first let's change this to gold, gold leaf. And then I'll come down to my GIMP layer. I'm going to alt click on that text layer. That will select my text. You can always move this layer around the gold layer if you want, but I like the position it's in now. So I'll come over here to my gold leaf layer, right click, go to add layer mask. And under initialize layer mask two, I'll do selection and click add. And I'll hit control shift A. So that's going to add a layer mask in the shape of my text to my gold leaf. We're not quite done here, so let's grab the move tool here. What I wanna do is add some shading to this and I also want some of the texture from the layer below to show up in the text so it looks more realistic. So first I'll start with my shading. I'll create a new layer and we'll name this shading. This time we'll fill it with transparency for now and click okay. Then I'll hit the G key on my keyboard to grab my gradient tool. And I'm gonna change the shape here to linear. And I'm also going to make sure this is set to foreground and background RGB. And I'm going to reset my foreground and background colors to black and white and then flip it. Next, I'm going to draw a gradient from the bottom corner to the top corner. And actually, I wish I didn't flip the colors now because now I'm just going to flip the gradient. I want the white to be in the top right. Obviously, this covers up the gold leaf layer. So what I need to do is change the layer mode of this. So I'll go over here to the mode drop down. And I'm just going to scroll down until I get to burn. Next, what I wanna do is adjust my gradient while it's still here. So we're just gonna kinda of drag the midpoint down. And actually, I do wanna change this, so I'm gonna drag this point up and this point down. That way it matches the lighting here in the black leather. I forgot about that. So we've got more lighting on the right side, it's more brightly lit, and then it's darker over here on the left. So it looks pretty good. We're going to hit the Enter key. And I can come over here to my shading layer and I can adjust the opacity of this. So let's go with something about right there. Next what I'll do is alt click on the GIMP text layer, come back up to the shading layer, right click and go to add layer mask. And we'll choose selection again and click add. And I'll hit control shift A to deselect that. And if I hold control and zoom in, you can see there's some white lines going on here. I don't want those. So I'm going to hide my original text layer. That'll get rid of that. And we just have one last main step here, and that's going to be to add the bumps from the leather below so that it looks like this foil is actually stamped on that leather. To do that, I'll come over here to my gold leaf layer. Then I'm going to hit the forward slash key on my keyboard, and I'm gonna type bump. That's gonna bring up the bump map option. This option will be available in newer versions of GIMP, so GIMP 2.10 and above. And now I'm going to double click on this, for the aux input, we're going to click on this little blue circle. And here we have all of the images we have currently open in GIMP. We're gonna stick with our current composition and under layers, we're going to come down here to the black leather layer and just double click on that. So now that's going to map the textures from that black leather layer to our gold leaf layer. And as you can see, now we've got these little raised bumps going on in here and it makes it look like this gold leaf has been printed on this leather. You can adjust the settings if you want, but I'm gonna keep them all set to the defaults and I'll click okay. And there is our final gold text. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.